Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Drinking Game Edition. The rules are in the description below. I will indicate on the screen every time one of those rules is met. I am TG and we are here on the Normandy. Just finished in Prime. This episode is going to be a lot of talking, a lot of story, not action. And because I think that those things are mostly enjoyed uh, just in silence, uh, you're not going to hear me talking a whole lot during this episode, just so you know. But I feel like it's a lot of information that, uh, to really enjoy the game, you have to get. Plus, you know, there are some interesting things. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and... I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Whatever's going on, the captain can handle it. Absolutely, Commander. Anything else before we head ashore? Any advice on how to act in front of an ambassador? I don't meet many politicians. An ambassador? I just follow standard operational procedure. Salute anything you can't eat or kill. <laughs> Good luck, ma'am. <laughs> I've never actually uh, chosen those specific dialogue options before. That's really entertaining. Not every time that you dock, well, I'm pretty sure it's every time, uh, but you get new things in your locker. Usually pretty, pretty decent stuff for your level. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Child Quest is one of my favorite minor NPC characters. You just get to have a lot of fun with her as a character in the sequels. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. A note to be taken is that if you're a biotic yourself in the series, that would make you an L3. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Which would make Caden older than you, I would assume. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. 
Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. You helped. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I would totally run out to Ashley if I could. That you have to take an elevator to get to. Requisition officer. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased, but I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Let's start with selling. Actually, I take that back. Alright, so I went through... Everyone's stuff first to make sure. Looking for supplies? Wanted to not accidentally sell something that would be better. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Here we go. Just Let me keep my ammo upgrades. I'm not going to be using that. I don't like upgrades that take from your heat absorption. Or your damage. All right, now these up here are all Spectre gear. Uh, by the time that I would be able to afford any of these, it would actually make sense for me to have access to them, but the way that you get access to them is actually unlocking an achievement. But I'm not going to neglect them just because I got them from a previous playthrough, because it does actually make sense for me to have them. Angel upgrade. Grenade upgrade. Codex. As we get further in the game, a lot of your squad mates will actually be hanging out down here there will be more people to actually talk to. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Yes, sir. Absolute shame about Jenkins. So just don't go 
running into fire. I don't know what to tell you. The lift. I've just been watching Kate Holden. She's a. She's in the UK. I believe. They call the lift. I'm American and I should be calling it an elevator. Alright. To the upper deck. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Not a huge fan of Odina. He's kind of a jerk. But he seems to be passionate. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Girl, me too. Alright, I'm gonna cut off the episode here. We will come back next time and we will head up to the tower to go speak to the Citadel Council. I hope you join us then.